Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. Even though spring officially arrived this week, it has felt a lot like winter for the past couple of weeks. And the big snowstorm, the blizzard of 2017 that hit us last week, will go down in the record books as one of the largest snowfalls ever here in the North Country. This was the last weekend in February when Saranac Lake had to truck in snow for the World Snowshoe Championships to cover the trails that were practically bare. Oh, what a difference a couple of weeks can make. This was Saranac Lake last week after getting slammed by one of the largest snowstorms in decades. So much snow fell in the Adirondack, streets in the village had to be closed so crews could clear out more than three feet of snow and truck it out of the downtown. We could have used it for our snowshoe races. We got over three feet of snow. The village of Saranac Lake has seven plow trucks and they were going 24 seven, literally. It was a long, long day for our small public works department. Down Route 86 in Wilmington, Whiteface Mountain got 42 inches of new snow. Avid skiers like Jake Sporn were out bright and early to hit the trail. I was, I was amazed what I saw this morning just getting to my car. Uh, I mean, it was digging out for a couple hours, um, two feet of snow on top of the car, and here I expected more, and you know, 40 plus inches here, average 40 inches, so um, it was more than I expected. Sporn says he was waist deep in powder on the mountain. Tons of people on the trails, they're all enjoying themselves, uh, it's amazing. Franklin County also got about 30 inches and all that snow only added to the trouble caused by a massive ice jam on the Salmon River in the village of Malone. The snow and ice backed up the river and flooded several streets and homes, forcing residents to evacuate. They can't get out, they can't get in, can't do nothing. After several days, the ice jam broke up and the river receded. But several homeowners had to pump out their flooded basements before they could return home. And it was a cold night for hundreds of people who got stranded in the blizzard on this stretch of Highway 13 in Montreal. Some big rigs got stuck in the heavy snow and that brought traffic to a stop. Motorists say they waited for more than 12 hours to be rescued. Our trucks were running out of gas at the same time, so we're just trying to keep warm and let, just let time pass. Frustration because no one has any news to tell us why no one's moving. Anger over why help took so long to arrive has led to an investigation into what went wrong and why there was such a breakdown in communications. And Highway 10 just north of the Vermont border near Magog, Quebec, turned into a sheet of ice leading to a huge 50 car pileup. Cars and trucks going full speed didn't see that traffic had come to a standstill until it was too late. Many drivers had to scramble off the highway to safety. This video shot by one of the motorists and posted to Facebook quickly went viral with more than four and a half million views in the past week. 